TikTok's most brain dead challenge. No poop July. Say just holding a poop in the whole July. No poop July might be TikTok's dumbest challenge. What type of challenge is this? <laughs> now nah, why his eyes like why he look <laughs> some treat it like a joke. Other nah, he about to die. Others take it seriously and what she got a full belly of poop? There's no way she got a full belly of poop. While it's giving users hundreds of that's nasty. Of millions of views, it's also infuriating the entire medical field. No poop July is taking over TikTok, and some doctors are hoping users do not take the challenge seriously. The trend was first started by TikToker OK Cron, who with just a couple thousand followers posted this initial video in July 2020. At this point in time, ridiculous challenges were TikTok's claim to fame, helping OK Cron go viral, amassing 84,000 likes. The majority of viewers simply laughed about the concept, but with Cron on himself commenting, can I make it till the end? He'd posed a serious Nah, the rent can't be that high. The rent can't be high, that high. Serious question. Was it actually possible to go 31 days without pooping? Another user urged Cron that he shouldn't even try, yet he still proceeded to his second day. 31 days? Nah, when I, I gotta when I gotta go, I gotta go, I'm not gonna lie. 31 days, waiting 31 days is crazy. I mean like like, like, it keep coming out. You gotta hold it in. You gotta keep going in and out. You gotta hold it. And stuff. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, that probably hurt too. Nah, that's a little pause. Pause. He letting the poop go in and pause. Hey, yeah. Uh by slightly increasing the strain on his face. Kron gained a further almost half a million likes, which after again repeating on day three, showed how instantly popular the challenge was becoming. Other TikTokers therefore began to beg, can we please not make this a thing? Yet OK Kron dismissed him as a hater who'd already failed. Then by day number five, the challenge was also criticized by Reddit. And while some commenters asked what goes on in TikTokers' heads to make something like this, others thought it was hilarious. How did I not know about No Poop July until now? By day number eight, OK Kron himself squeezed out a little smile, yet by day 10, the struggle had returned. He looks like he's in genuine pain. That's because I am. When questioned on day 11, how am I holding it in? Hit state answer is on the hat, which was branded with the Flex Seal logo. Oh, nah. However, this only helped temporarily, as on day 18, he was totally exposed. I think someone snuck into my house. He's using the bathroom. I swear, this is all a big misunderstanding. A big misunderstanding? It's no poop to lie. I'm gonna expose you. Okay, Kron therefore made a sad announcement. I nah, this is something out of South Park. It's like an episode out of South Park or something. Have failed No Poop July. Understandably, he shared his devastation. It just slipped. It just slipped. I don't know what to say. It just slipped. So you shit yourself. Yet the very next day, he revealed he was still going. Kron had seemingly oh used his one free poop coupon, which allowed for one of a one free coop poop coupon during the month of July. Does not disqualify the user from no poop, but nah, he going too far with this. A free poop coupon, it's like one of the free no homework coupons. You got an elementary, this coupon is good for one free poop. <laughs> nah, that's crazy, one free poop. And you got an expiration date on it, 8-1, nah. He made this coupon himself so he could have failed the challenge. Emergency dump without disqualification. An emergency dump. Nah. To ensure it didn't happen again. How to win. No poop to lot not kidding. Nah. He'd throw away all his toilet paper, lock up the toilet, throw away all his toilet paper nah, again, and toilet. lock himself out of his bathroom. This inspired others to join in on the challenge, which it seemed... <laughs> nah, this is nasty. 
Okay, Kron didn't really appreciate. Homie trying to act like he started the biggest trend of this month. Copycats, however, couldn't slow him down as OK Kron successfully beat the challenge, or did he? When told you better not be pooping off camera, bruh, OK Kron responded, I'm not. Mm. Yet Kron's friend then exposed him by showing it was fake. You might know him as the kid who hasn't pooped for 26 days, but today we found proof that he lied to us. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. Who do I go? Did you fail? Be real. Yeah. Obviously, I'd be in the hospital, but. It was pretty damn obvious wow. that the whole thing was a joke. I mean, nobody would actually be stupid enough to try this challenge for real, right? I knew it was like impossible because it's no way you can't, you can go 26 days without pooping. Well, people began to question. What if you drank liquid vitamin, protein, and fats? What if you drank a liquid form of all the resources you need to live? Never eating solid mass again. Could you maybe get away with never pooping again? One person responded, I lasted 10 days. I had to go to the hospital though, and it was 2015. Never tried it again, just as a different TikTok was also going viral. This guy held his poop for 47 days. When he was pulled over, cops realized he ate something right before they came up to the window. He had swallowed drugs that were in his car. And while he was waiting behind bars, Lamar went on a poop strike. He simply refused to go to the bathroom altogether. He didn't go to the bathroom for literally 47 straight days. This showed that the challenge was in fact possible, supported by a Reddit post giving countless other anecdotes. Hmm. I've gone two months without a bowel movement. It hurts a lot and drains my energy, but it's happened a few times before. Usually it's just around one month though. I literally did not go to the toilet for a whole month after I effed up my bowels through laxative abuse. I was constipated for more than three weeks while pregnant. It was awful, but I didn't die. Although sadly, none of these people record constipated for three weeks it for their TikTok. That would be until Shireen and Kathy Dole came along. So here I am on day 33 of not doing a poo. My tummy is in agony. I have stomach cramps constantly. It is so, so painful. She'd been in and out of hospital as she simply couldn't poo. So I managed to date a big shite and that's me at the hospital. She therefore shift her TikToks to document her journey, beginning perhaps coincidentally right at the start of July. I am just at the bath and look at my tummy. I am bigger. 34 days of not pooping, nah. Than anybody holding like two triplets at eight months pregnant. As shown, Shireen looked like she was pregnant with her involuntary no poop July. That is pooping her stomach. I, uh, looking like it'd soon be ending. I am getting surgery tomorrow. That's but nasty. It's taking so long to get here, but I am so grateful. The surgery was successful, concluding her no poop July on the 21st, whilst other TikTokers like it. She had a belly full of poop. MacDougall was still clearly struggling to beat it. OK Kron had returned for another year with significantly higher production value, although this time receiving much more criticism. Perhaps due to Shireen's journey. Woman left looking nine months pregnant due to bowel. What's a bowel? Let me over here just in case. Part of the alimentary canal below stomach. Uh, oh, part of your intestine. Kron's 2022 No Poop July featured an automatic TikTok disclaimer reading, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Despite this, the challenge went even more viral than ever, gaining over 800,000 likes on his very first episode in 2022. Yeah, yes, episodes. it's back. But I ain't seen none of this. But at what cost? By refining and perfecting his constipation face. Okay, Kron cracked a million likes for the first time on day 20. And by day for the first time on day 20. Refining and perfecting his... Ah, Kron.
constipation face. Okay, Kron cracked a million likes for the first time on day 20, and by day 29, the entire squad was there to offer their support. He'd celebrate its completion by Press sweating by wearing his finest suit, which became his most watched video with over 18 million views. I didn't win in 2020 and I lost in 2021, but this year I did it. Thank you to everyone who supported me along the way. Doctors, however, weren't impressed by OK Kron's achievement. I'm Dr. Justin Sloan, and I'm here to tell you that there are consequences to not having a bowel movement, and these range from hemorrhoids all the way up to bowel obstruction. No poop July. <laughs> Wow, we got TikTok doctors. TikTok doctors. My jokes are all over TikTok. Some doctors urge users not to try it for real. The NBC article written as the month was finishing read, some doctors warned that the trend should remain a joke, saying those who are successful at holding in their bowel movements could cause issues like hemorrhoids and a temporary dependence on laxatives for regular bowel movements. It's a funny thing to joke about, but it's a potentially serious thing to do, said Dr. Stephen Miller, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Ironically, however, this media exposure only made the challenge even more popular, but if you follow the graph a little further, you'll see No Poop July was still only getting started. In 2023, even more TikTokers joined the challenge, such Is he turning red? Just Hulkmania Stanley, who basically just copied OK Kron's formula. Never back down, never give up. Uh, unfortunately nah. failing to add anything new. OK Kron himself had also barely changed anything, so despite again winning the challenge and joking about toilet eruption August, it seemed No Poop July was getting old, stale, and stinky. That would be until 2024, when OK Kron took the challenge to a whole new level. The month began with a crazy announcement. The No Poop July video game is a Nah, he's going too far. He made a whole game. Officially available for pre-save in the app store. He'd built an NPJ video game in which you have to run around shooting various pieces of food. It features weapons such as the toilet paper pistol, a full line of in-game cosmetics, and a new boss for every day of July. Upon its release, nah, he's serious about this. Least Cron would announce, NPJ is the number one game in the world. Amazing game, life changing. Managed to get out of the divorce and take back custody of my kids what? after showing the judge NPJ. <laughs> and no poop July itself still has. Oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was almost wrapped. I almost choked. I was just choking on a piece of ice. Oh my, oh my god. I just choked on a piece of ice. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. Wow. I accidentally swallowed it whole. Oh, pause, pause. It's almost wrapped for me. It's not. In addition to <laughs> and No Poop July itself to the game, Kron teased the challenge with its own official trailer, which did eventually manage to live up to the hype. Yeah, Every trailer? single day had its own funny outfit to live up to the hype. Every single day had its own funny outfit, dressing up American for the 4th, nope, as Yoda July. for the 8th, and Skibbity Toilet for day 22. Now, who is Skibbity Toilet? Oh, he made him. Uh, who is skibbity toilet? Ooh, uh, after the month eventually ended, Kron had officially achieved the MPJ 3 peat, yet he still wasn't finished. He'd announced that he'd made an official MPJ movie, and uh, while this seemed like just another joke, it actually. Nah, he's, nah, he's juicing this content, I'm not lying. He's juicing this. He's juicing it, I'm not lying actually had a super wholesome twist. Kron explained towards the end, toilet paper is often overlooked in donation drives, yet it is one of the most essential and under-donated toiletries globally. He'd therefore spend almost a thousand dollars on it, explaining since I didn't have to poop for the entire month of July, it would instead be donated to a local charity. Perhaps even more impressively, OK Kron had milked the 31 days for 103 different MPG TikToks, but I guess it's not a bad idea given the challenge is seasonal and is also getting old. Viewers have commented the meme has been dead for over a year. Just let it go. <laughs> nah. It's different when the chat tell you let it go. Yet OK Kron believes he'll still be doing NPJ in 2089.
Wow, I didn't even know nothing about this.